welcome to my channel Swiss Kitchen. I have a new video for you. Today I show you how to make a prime rib steak from the beef. We say Antecot in Switzerland together with a cauliflower and broccoli gratin. This is the way how everyone likes your vegetable when you cook like this. Let's start now. This is the main ingredients what we need. I have here a cauliflower and a broccoli. I make already roses like this size, it's okay. Then we have the Parmesan cheese and grounded Gruyere cheese I take here. Then one tablespoon of flour or flour. Then we have our prime rib steak with two cloves of garlic, what is pressed but uh, not peeled. A little bit butter. Then we need whole cream and about a half a liter of milk then a little pepper salt and nutmeg then here i have boiling water already we put a little bit of salt and then we cook the vegetable first the cauliflower put it inside we just blanchire we say in, in swiss this is just a little bit pre-cooking not really that is soft it's about two minutes in the cooking water and then we remove. So the cauliflower is now cooked for two minutes. We remove it now, put it back in the plate. And then after in a strainer that the water is away all like this. And then we use directly the same water for the broccoli also. This one we make the same. Also one time boiling and then let for one or two minutes like this. And you saw it's directly getting green when it's the hot water. So also the color is nice in then. Then the broccoli is also enough. This one we just boiling up one time that is not getting too much soft. It's faster to cook than the cauliflower. Then we remove and put it in the cold water that is cooling down directly and keep the color and the consistency. Then for the sauce we use the same pan directly where we cooked before. We put a little bit of butter inside, melting this first. And then we put the flour. This is a bechamel sauce to say also for this. And we mix it first nice so it don't become pieces inside from the floor after. Also here the corner, that all the floor is mixed with the butter. And then we put first a little bit milk, not all directly. And then we mix it again. You saw the consistency is getting hot directly from the floor. Now we can put more like this. First I make bechamel sauce and then with the gruyere cheese together it's becoming a Mornay sauce we say for this. This is a cheese sauce. We put pepper, nutmeg, And salt. We use the salt a little bit careful because the cheese is salty and we salt already the water before. Just like that. And we must boiling again one time. And when the consistency is too liquid for you, you can also mix a little flour with oil. And then put also after. But this one is coming good. 
Now we put a little bit of cream. It's about well, one, one and a half that chili that I put in. And now we need to boiling this for 10 or 15 minutes that the floor is cooked also inside. While well, the sauce is cooking, we can all already make our vegetable. I put every time like this. That is a little bit nice looking. So I put first the broccoli and this inside. And then the cauliflower between. I like when it's a little bit looking like in a forest or something. Not in one side is broccoli and the other side is cauliflower. Always a little bit wild mixed. And it looks delicious. Like that. Put then the cauliflower here between every time. And I look every time that the roses is upstairs. It's also good when you put in the oven after. Just like this. And then it's prepared already for the sauce after. You can press a little bit and shake it. And this is the prepare. Now we cook for 10 or 15 minutes. You saw normally this one is too liquid for a bechamel sauce. But I put now the grounded cheese inside the Gruyere cheese. Put now all inside and mix until it's melted. And then it's getting a little thick from alone. You so saw now the consistency from the sauce is this what you want, a little more thick. And this finished the sauce, you can put it now on top from the vegetable. Then we put the parmesan or grana padano cheese on top. Like that. Everywhere nice put. I like cheese, that's why I use two different cheese. One in the sauce and one for on top. And then it's getting a nice color also in the oven after. I put it like this now. Now we put this for 20 minutes, 200 degrees, maybe 15 minutes is enough. You must check a little bit when it's brown and nice looking golden brown, then it's good. Then we spice first our prime rib. I put salt and pepper, but you can also use some herbs or something when you like. For me this one is enough and then I fry after with the garlic to get it, press it a little bit and then the other side also. And then we heating the frying pan, it must be hot. Like this. Put now a little bit oil. Then the garlic. Then we shake it a little bit. Then we take the meat. We take like this and then I fry first the, the fat on top. This one is good for the taste. 
better when when you want to remove then remove after the frying then it's a uh, taste also in the meat from this pepper Then we turn in the side, then it's also fast on top. Then we're just crunching there and removing the taste a little bit. Relax us for one or two minutes because I like medium rare. Turn around on the other side. This is important that the pan is hot so the juice is stay in the meat. Now I lower the heat a little bit. And I use this wood spoon, I put it under the meat, pull a little bit up the meat like that. We let laying like this and now we cover it so that the meat can a little bit rest. And you saw this one is getting golden brown. We let a little bit longer inside for some minutes. Then we remove again in the pan and then the basket we put here and then we put a little bit on top of the basket for the next day. The garlic I remove already. You can also put some herbs now when you like, some rosemary or cinnamon or something like that. And then we remove the meat and let it rest. Then we plating our food. I take here the cauliflower, the broccoli with a little bit sauce. As you saw, it looks really delicious. Everyone likes your vegetable when it's like this. And then the meat, we cut in half, then you saw also inside. Now you can remove the fat when you like, and like this is perfect, medium rare. We put the two halves here. That is also the cutted side. And like this is our prime rib with cauliflower and broccoli gratta. Then we need to taste. What we cook, I take a little bit from the undercut or prime rib, and then also from the vegetable. You saw it cook and delicious and hot. <laughs> mm. Wonderful, delicious taste. I hope you enjoy my video and you try it at home. A beef is every time really delicious food. And with this vegetable, you will see all the people will really like your vegetable and how you cook this. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to. Thank you so much and see you in the next video, your Swiss kitchen.